in my area, nice and clean. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put a footer on the bottom. Once again, notice how I'm holding it nice and gentle, as if it were a baby. Never grab the clay like that. I'm going to add a footer. A footer is a raised portion on the bottom of a vessel. And you'll notice, if you go to your kitchen cabinet, all your cups, all your bowls, they all have footers on them, even though they're manufactured. When I connect two pieces of clay, I'm going to score. So here we go. Just score, score, score. Just like so. And take another little piece of clay, just like so. Scrunch it up a little bit. And roll it into a snake. There we go. I've got a nice consistent coil. The trick to coils is having a light touch, keeping your fingers splayed out, and giving it a nice long roll. It should roll more than once. That's how you make them nice and round. Notice too how I'm going to hold this. Barely just, just cupping it. Never pinch. Never pinch. Besides the whole getting things way too wet with water thing, how people hold their clay is probably the number one thing that they do wrong. So I've scored this edge right here, and I'm going to score this as well. Add just a touch of water, just a little finger full of water. That's it. Once again, not a whole lot. Not much at all. I could even score the ends where these come together. Now when you're attaching something, you don't want to give it a strong push because of course you're going to change the shape of it. You might even mush down the vessel itself. So we're going to give it a little bit, a bit of a wiggle and a push. A little wiggle and a push. And a little wiggle and a push. A little wiggle and a push. A little wiggle and a push. A little wiggle. A little wiggle. A little wiggle and a push. So I can feel that it's got just a nice little bit of attachment. That scoring that we did is what's going to really keep it on. That's so important. Uh, the third mistake, people get things, first, they get things too wet. Second, you got to be careful how you hold things. But third is they, they get lazy and they skip on that whole scoring of stuff. And that's vital because if you don't score, what happens is your attachment is weak. And when your clay dries out, things will come apart. But if you score it, it's like Velcro, and it just doesn't come apart near so easily. Okay, so once I've got that on, I'm going to take another tool. So, so far we've seen the loop tool for trimming. We've seen this fork for scoring. Now, I could take either a wooden tool, or perhaps a butter knife. And I'm just going to take it, gently push down, just on the edge, not in the middle, just on the edge, just a little bit. Grab that little edge. That'll help to strengthen it as well. Yeah, that's not going to come off too easy. The wooden tools are pretty nice because they'll do those few things that your fingers can't do. Your hands and your fingers, those are your best overall tools. For me, I keep my nails trimmed nice and tight because it makes it easier for me to work. Now on the outside, I'm just going to use this other end of this wooden tool. And the wooden tools come in all different shapes. And I'm just going to once again grab the edge, just the edge, just the edge, and bring that down. That's not too bad, but I think it's sticking up a little bit. It's a little bit high. So what I'm going to do, gently, gently, holding that in my palms, 
is just in the same way that we had dropped it on its rim ever so gently. I do that with my footer. Not much, not much. Gentle, gentle. Now I can just clean this up a little bit more. Once again, if I ever wanted to use a little bit of water for smoothing, be just the tiniest bit. So for instance, I've, just, I've got this water right here and I'm just going to take and just dab my finger in it. Just that little bit. Using this here to moisten it. I'll then use this little bit of water that I have as reserve. So I'm smoothing it in here. And then if I wanted to smooth the outside, I'll just get a little bit of the moisture from here to smooth it. Once again, not very much water. Water makes things weak. Water can definitely be your friend. But you'll see, one of the big properties of clay is how moist or how dry it is. The moister something is, the softer it is. The drier something is, the more rigid or firm it is. And both have their working qualities. Both do different things. So there we go. Not too bad. Before I turn it over again, I'm going to either write my name, or in this case just my initials, in the bottom. But what's just as important, perhaps more important since we're in the class, is the period number. We'll do this one for P5. Very important because I fire these all together. And finally, 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 what we're going to do is give it that final tweak. This is what makes all the difference, just making sure that it's good and round. Sometimes, on a round thing, I might even take something that was machine manufactured, and I might test it against that. Gentle, gentle, and use that to make sure that I've got it good and round. When you're all done, go ahead and uh, bring it up to me. We'll put it on the cart and we'll get it ready for the next stage.